Ken Childers, let's hear it for him. I have to put some of you all to show how many showed up. It's a full packed house, and I love talking in front of a packed house, as my Sertoma brothers are pretty aware of. I have been a member of Springfield Sertoma for close to 14 years. I'm going to share a little bit about Springfield's history as it relates to the Boys and Girls Club. Sertoma's first club in Springfield was chartered on July 12, 1941, by the Joplin Sertoma Club. We were formed to help build the Henderson unit of the Boys Club and the first Boys Club building west of the Mississippi. Bill Henderson, who was the executive director for the first unit in Springfield, was a member of our Sertoma Club for many years. From the very beginning, we have been affiliated with Sertoma Incorporated. Sertoma stands for Service to Mankind, Sertoma, and was founded in Kansas City in 1912. We just as an organization celebrated our 100th anniversary last year. It is the third oldest civic organization in the country, and each club decides on its own specific sponsorship, although the international organization's focus is on speech and hearing. Our club in the Southern Missouri, Northern Arkansas District of Sertoma is part of the Heart of America region, which comprises six different states. Sertoma International has always been happy and willing to help our district grow. Recognizing our founder's mission to the original Boys Club, the Heart of the Ozarks Sertoma Club was chartered off of the Springfield Club in 1969 with the distinct mission of building the Musgrave Unit, and in a relatively short amount of time, groundbreaking was achieved in the spring of 1973. And since our beginnings locally, and from our first local charter in 1941, a total of eight individual clubs under the Sertoma banner operate right now in the Ozarks. I think that's amazing. As an example of our continuing success and growth, a group in Joplin sprang up a few years ago and a completely new chapter is now organizing under the Sertoma banner to help kids in the Branson Lakes area as well. So we have influence and it's because you guys support us out there. Thank you. Long before I became a Sertoman, I and many other Springfieldians fell in love with a little old event that many fondly subtitle Springfield's unofficial reunion. The very first Sertoma chili cook-off was held in February of 1980 to benefit the Boys Club, and it featured, are you ready for this, a whopping 12 teams. 12, that's barely three tables there. That's what the very first one was, amazing, 33 years ago. And on February 22nd of this year, we'll be convening at the Expo Center for our 33rd annual event. And since our humble first event, we have literally raised hundreds of thousands of dollars from the cook-off for the club. It's been noted and it's been mentioned, for example, that Bill Henderson was hired as the executive director in February of 1947. For many years, Bill not only piloted the organization that has evolved in the tremendous operation we know today as the Springfield Boys and Girls Club, but he also paid his civic rent for over 40 years as a card-carrying member of the Sertoma Club of Springfield. His desire to serve his community set an example for other Boys and Girls Club directors to follow. Proud to call you my brothers. And after all you've heard about Sertoma, we're not done yet. Through a series of meetings between clubs, Sertoma has decided to authorize a $500,000 challenge grant for the brand new Sertoma unit. Sertoma looks forward to individuals and groups in the community joining them in raising the needed funds of $1,750,000 for this project. And in addition, the Boys and Girls Club board is pleased to announce that this new unit will be called the Sertoma Unit. And just real quick, if I've got enough Sertomans in the room, you're going to know this next little stunt right here, okay? So be ready. I am proud to be a Sertoman. All right, thank you for your time.